Hi guys, welcome back to the garden. How are you doing today? Hope everyone is fine. It's middle of summer. The garden is full of produce ready to pick. So let me show you what I have for you today. Okay, so let's have a look how much we're gonna get from that patch. I'm not gonna harvest all of it. I'm gonna leave a probably half of it for the seeds, for the dry beans. I have more than enough and there's more beans coming from the later sowing. So let's start. inside starting to swell up so it's the perfect time to pick it We also have some lovely plums ready to be picked. There's not that many of them. It's a relatively young tree, probably six, seven years old from the seed. But it's enough. So that's not a bad start for a harvesting day. All those beans are on me first two rows. I'm leaving the third row alone for the seeds. I'm growing plenty of climbing beans as well. They're getting mental at the moment. But I'm gonna leave all of them for the seeds. They are quite nice beans. They're gonna grow slightly bigger seeds than the yellow French beans. You can actually use them for cooking quite easily. There's few different varieties. French climbing beans, which are those green ones. I have different type of runner beans, white, black and box standard purple. There's also cobra climbing beans. They are quite nice as well, with a nice marking, but when you cook them, they turn green as all the other beans. I'm gonna leave them for seeds as well, I don't need any more French beans, but I just wanna keep the seeds going. Okay, let's get some skins now, they're probably turning into marrows by now, I was on holiday for a week. So that's what happens with zucchini when you leave it for too long, but that's fine. I'm gonna leave the biggest one for seed saving anyway. Let's get all the rest. There are some monsters here. can get from the greenhouse. It's a bit of a spoiler. That's our citrus and lychee germinating. We have some movement on the turmeric as well. But that's for another video. Let's have a look at the tomatoes. We are getting quite a lot. Those are lovely standard cherry tomatoes. Not that sweet, there's a bit of acidity to it.
Not very tasty. It's the other type of tomato I'm growing. Don't know the variety of it. Been saving seeds for years and years. They are much darker compared to the standard one, but much, much sweeter. They are almost like a candy. And straight from the vine, in this heat in the greenhouse, they are simply delicious. So growing some beefsteak tomatoes, they're just starting to ripen. Same story as with most of the greenhouse stuff. Don't know which variety it is. Been saving the seeds for too long, don't remember anymore. But they are quite nice as well. This is a small one actually. They grow probably four times the size in good conditions. I have three plants of this type of tomato. That's a random packet of seed I got from my trip to Italy. I've planted them way, way la later. I think I sowed them in like May. But they are getting there. We'll see. The peppers are growing happily. Not ready to harvest yet. There's quite a few fruits of all of them. I prefer to wait when they are red, they are much sweeter. Also waiting for the grapes to ripen. Some of them are already changing the color. It won't be long till they are ready. You can try one. This one looks like ripe. Good, but I think it's going to be much better in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, that wasn't a bad harvest for half an hour work. I still have plenty of stuff to come. There's still loads of beans, both French beans and Coco de Pompol. There's lots of beetroot to harvest. There's a whole lot of main crop potatoes to be dug out, but I need more time. I don't have enough time to do all this at once, but it's not running away. It's storing better in the soil anyway. And soon there's gonna be a bumper crop of fruits. The grapes in the greenhouse are almost ready. The grapes outside are slowly getting there. They are much smaller than the one in the greenhouse. But they will get there. Looks like we're gonna get a bumper crop of pears. I think I have, yeah, I have three pear trees. So that's way more than I can use. So that's all I have for you today. It wasn't a bad day. I'm happy with the harvest. Join me next time in the next video. I'm gonna have a look at all the tropical plants I brought from Thailand a month ago. We have some germinations and rooting. So that's gonna be an interesting video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.